two days ago, I looked at Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas, and you know, I really liked it. The stories were great, everything from the writing to the animation was brimming with life and charm, and it left me with a very good holiday feeling in my stomach when all was said and done, and I get the feeling everyone else who's seen it would say the same. So naturally, if something's successful, you do a sequel. Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas, released in 2004, direct to video, just like its predecessor, tells five Christmas stories featuring the beloved characters of Mickey Mouse, each with a message to tell and learn from. Unlike in my video of the first movie where I gave in-depth briefings on the stories, I will not be doing the same here and I'll get to why in a bit, but before that, let's go over those stories so maybe you'll see why I'm choosing to do it this way and in the process, answer the question, is Twice Upon a Christmas better than the first? First story is Bells on Ice. Minnie and Daisy both enter a figure skating competition only for jealousy to overcome Daisy, causing her to become overly competitive. After a little back and forth, however, the two make up and commence in a grand finale. Second is Christmas Impossible. Huey, Dewey, and Louie realize that their bad behavior all year guarantees them to be on the naughty list. Determined to get gifts this Christmas, they travel to the North Pole to write their names on the nice list, only for them to have a change of heart writing Scrooge's name instead. Their change of heart is recognized by Santa, who gives the three brothers what they wanted for Christmas as well. Third is Christmas Maximus. Max is bringing home a girl for Christmas, but is worried his dad Goofy will embarrass him. Obviously, forgetting what his name is, Goofy does just that, only for Max to come around and realize that being with family during Christmas is what's most important. Fourth, and my personal favorite, is Donald's Gift. Poor Donald wants nothing more than to sit at home and drink a nice cup of hot cocoa, but his family has other plans and drags him to the mall so they can spend the day together. While roaming said mall, Donald keeps hearing the tune of We Wish You a Merry Christmas over and over again until he takes out his anger on a band of animatronics singing the song. Upset at his actions, his family leaves him alone to contemplate a new low. While wandering the streets, Donald hears a choir failing to sing the song that caused him so much grief. Instead of getting mad, he leaves them to singing it better, which draws a crowd, including his family, who realizes his change of heart and comes to forgive him. And finally, we have Mickey's Dog Gone Christmas. Pluto trashes Mickey's house, which Mickey responds to by angrily telling Pluto to go to his doghouse. Mad at Mickey, Pluto jumps on and into a passing train that heads directly to the North Pole, where he meets Santa's reindeer. Pluto quickly becomes homesick, however, which causes the reindeer to take him back home, where Mickey was worried sick looking for him. Upon making up, everyone from the other stories joins up in Mickey's now restored house, where they sing one final carol, ending the movie the same way they did the last one. You see why I chose to keep things brief, that still took a while, and also this kind of highlights one of the problems I have with this movie, there being more stories, two more than the last one in fact, while being two minutes shorter than the first one overall, means that the stories aren't fleshed out and come off feeling extremely rushed. Aside from Christmas Impossible and Donald's Gift, they go from short films in the first movie to just shorts, if that makes any sense. The stories aren't as fun either, nor as grounded as they were in the first movie. Even with one of those stories being a Groundhog Day scenario, it still had a great message to tell that felt very real. Here the messages aren't as impactful. Don't be a jerk, don't be a jerk, don't be a jerk, don't be a jerk, and don't be a jerk. All of these messages could simply be don't be a jerk, I just realized that. Huh. They're not as entertaining to watch as the previous movie either. The figure skating competition only goes the way it does because Daisy becomes jealous and tries to make it about herself, and then they try to play it off like it was both Minnie and Daisy's fault. Yeah, no, Daisy was completely in the wrong there. Max in Christmas Maximus comes off as honestly a bit stupid. He's scared Goofy will scare away his girlfriend Mona by acting goofy, but when it inevitably happens, Mona is completely unbothered by it. I mean, I understand why he's embarrassed, but she's having a nice time and doesn't think any less of him, which is his number one concern, so it makes the whole story feel pretty pointless. And Mickey's Dog Gone Christmas is started in such a bad way, honestly. Mickey's not just angry at Pluto for trashing the house, he snaps at him, and when he's closing the door to leave, he scoffs and says, pfft, man's best friend. One, that's crossing the line, and two, that's completely out of Mickey's character. Never in a million years would he say that to Pluto. The only stories I find a fair amount of enjoyment watching is Christmas Impossible and Donald's Gift. 
Christmas Impossible because it's the closest this movie gets to the first, story-wise. At the beginning, Scrooge tells the boys he never was on Santa's good list, so he never got what he wanted for Christmas. And towards the end, when the brothers are about to write their names down, they write Scrooge's as I previously mentioned. It's heartwarming and good character development. And I just like Donald's gift because it's hilarious. The dude just wants some peace and quiet to go with his cocoa, but he keeps hearing the tune We Wish You a Merry Christmas, and it causes him to go insane. So when he gets stuck stuck with the animatronics, instead of leaving or maybe covering his ears, he violently destroys all of them. It's, it, it, it's honestly one of the best things about this movie. Moving away from the story now, you've obviously noticed that they've changed from 2D animation to 3D, and the transition was less than good. Some characters just look really awkward in this movie. Max, Mickey, Minnie, Mona, something about them just feels off. It's also not as charming to look at as the previous movie. It feels very simplistic. So after after all of this, you're probably asking, Easy, is there anything this movie did better than the first? And when I think about it, no, N no it doesn't. In all honesty, this movie is just a lesser version of the first in every way. It's not as fun to watch, the stories aren't as fleshed out due to there being more of them, it's not as emotional, some characters look and feel off than how they should be. Twice Upon a Christmas falls in almost every way compared to Once Upon a Christmas. Oh boy, um... Uh... In conclusion, in case it wasn't obvious enough, Twice Upon a Christmas isn't that good, not only compared to the first one, but by itself as well. When watching it, I didn't get the same Christmas feeling I did when watching the first movie, or any other Christmas movie for that matter, and as a Christmas movie, I'd say that's a complete failure, and overall, I don't recommend it. So that answers the question, Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas is not better than Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. So with that all said, I'm easily easy and I'll see you next time.